गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो इन द लेसन द बेस्ट क्रिसमस प्रेजेंट इन द वर्ल्ड वी हैव रेड दैट द फ्रिज ऑफिसर अप्रोच द ब्रिटिश ऑफिसर टू सेलिब्रेट क्रिसमस हैंस वुल्फ हु वॉज द जर्मन ऑफिसर ग्रीटेड जिम मैकफर्सन एंड दे शेख हैंड्स नाउ लेट्स कॉन्टिन्यू कैप्टन जिम मैकफर्सन आई रिप्लाइड एंड अ हैप्पी क्रिसमस टू यू टू I am a school teacher from Dorset in the west of England. So student Jim Macpherson introduced himself and told him that before uh, he was sent to fight the war he was a school teacher in Dorset. Ah Dorset he smiled I know this place I know it very well. We shared my rum ration and his excellent sauces and we talked Conny how we talked he spoke almost perfect English. but it turned out that he had never set foot in dorset never ever been to england he had learned all he knew of england from school and from reading books in english his famous writer was thomas hardy his favorite book far from the madding crowd now student mr jim mcpherson is explaining his meet with henswolf to his wife conny in the letter who was the famous writer of henswolf thomas hardy and which was his favorite book far from the madding crowd so out there in no man's land we talked of batseba and gabriel ock and sir jane troy and dorset students these were the topic of discussion between henswolf and mr j mcpherson these are literary works so these are the books which were read by both of them and they discussed these He had a wife and one son born just 6 months ago. As I looked about me there were herders of khaki and grey everywhere all over no man's land smoking laughing talking drinking eating so there was mood of celebration. Hans Wolf and I shared what was left of your wonderful christmas cake. Kony he thought the marzipan was the best he had ever tasted what is marzipan it is a sweet covering on the cake okay which is made from sugar eggs and almonds basically the icing i agreed we agreed about everything and he was my enemy so they had a wonderful communication there never was a christmas party like it coney then someone i don't know who brought out a football so they played football also great courts were dumped in piles to make goal post and the next thing we knew it was tommy against fris out in the middle of no man's land students they used great courts okay to make goal post hans wolf and i looked on and cheered clapping our hands and stamping our feet to keep out the cold as much as anything there was a moment when i noticed our breaths mingling in the air between us so they were treating each other like friends he saw it too and smiled jim mcpherson he said after a while i think this is how we should resolve this war a football match no one dies in a football match no children are orphaned no wives become widows students although the officers were fighting but they did understand that war is futile war is useless war is not the solution of any problem and they discussed that all the wars should be resolved by football match why because in this no harm is done no children are orphaned no wives become widows there is no loss of lives i would prefer cricket i told him then we tommies could be sure of winning probably because english people love cricket so jim mcpherson told him that he would prefer cricket we laughed at that and together we watched the game sad to say coney fritz won two goals to one but as hansful generously said our goal was wider than theirs so it wasn't quite fair so who won german soldiers fritz won but they said that their win was not fair means they were kind enough they consoled english soldiers the time came and all too soon when the game was finished the snaps and the rum and the sausage had long since run out and we knew it was all over so they enjoyed the food also football match was over i wished hans well and told him i hope he would see his family again soon
his wife and his son and the fighting would end and we could all go home so they were very optimistic they were very positive they wanted to put an end to this war and go back home well <laughs> mini i think that is what every soldier wants on both sides hans wolf said take care jim mcpherson i shall never forget this moment nor you he saluted and walked away from me slowly hans wolf was very happy and he told him that he would not forget this moment he saluted uh, and walked away from jim mcpherson unwillingly means he did not want to go. he turned to wave just once and then became one of the hundreds of gray coated men drifting back towards their trenches all the soldiers moved back to their trenches that night back in our dugouts we heard them singing a carol means a song and singing it quite beautifully it was still nash silent night our boys gave them a rousing chorus of white shepherd watch so both the armies sang songs and they could hear the sounds of each other we exchanged carols for a while and then we all fell silent we had had our time of peace and goodwill a time i will treasure as long as i live so this was something unusual which happened that day and jim mcpherson was very optimistic he was very happy and that day was a memorable one for both the armies dearest coney by christmas time next year this war will be nothing but a distant and terrible memory see students how jim mcpherson is confident that next christmas there will be no war the war will be over i know from all that happened today how much both armies long for peace we shall be together again soon i am sure of it your loving zim so students the lesson is still left i have just read out the letter which was written by jim mcpherson to his wife coney now the author who had read this letter will try to find coney and hand over this letter to her i will teach you this in the next video if you have any doubt in the part of the lesson which i explained today you can ask thank you